Hi, this is your host, Train Room Gary, saying welcome to my YouTube channel. Train Room Gary, Detroit Mackinac Railway, a Train Room Gary production. Hi, I'm Train Room Gary, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing something unusual with you guys. Behind me you'll see some pasture trains running. Today we're going to talk about dinner in the diner, dining on the b and Railroad, and dining by rail. Now I'll leave uh, descriptions of all these books in the description section of this video. So behind me, you can see I got the trains running. Let's go inside and see what goes on in the diner car kitchen. So all aboard for an adventure with Train Room Gary. Alright, we're in the kitchen and we're thawing out our frozen duck. And in the golden age of railroading, the train would have stopped and they would have picked up fresh duck and fish from hunters along the way. But these modern days, we go to a modern kitchen and we thaw out the duck. This is a maple leaf duck from Kroger. It's 6.26 pounds. Alright, we're at the sink. We're going to rinse this duck out. And I did a lot of it before we got over here. Make this go a little faster. So let's get the duck out of here. I got all the insides out, like the neck and the heart and the gizzard, all those important parts. And I'm going to set it into the cooking tray. All right, now what we're going to do now is we're going to pierce the skin so that the uh, oil up the duck can get out. Basically, you just lift up on the skin a little bit. Just kind of poke little holes in it. And these little slots will help the, the uh, grease release. And there's no need to do all this for you watching, but you can see what's happening here. I'm getting these nice little slits so the duck can drain properly. You pick up on the skin so it doesn't hit the meat. And I can come back later, you know, do some stuff with a fork. Right now we're in the prep area for the stuffing. You can see all the ingredients here. We got some uh, chicken broth, some Pepperidge Farm herb seasoned classic stuffing, some sage and black pepper. All this right here along with a egg ready to go. And some chopped onions. So these are things that are going into the stuffing. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna saute the onions. We got on a medium heat, put the pan on the stove, and we'll start moving that around, and then we'll dump the onions in. So that just get that butter nice and soft. And once the butter is softened up, we'll put the onions in. All right, we got the uh, butter nice and melting for the saute for the onions. Let's just put the onions in there and let them flop in. Here, okay, the onions are being sauteed. All right, we got the onions sizzling nice. And I'm just going to move this around a little bit to uh, get a good coverage on the saute for the onions. Now keep in mind, this is going to be going inside the duck with all that stuffing material. Man, it even smells good. All right, we're still sauteing the onions. And once again, here's our stuffing. It's a Pepperidge Farm brand. It's got the herbs already in it. And we're going to pour this into our mixing bowl. Alright, now we're going to go over and we're going to put our sauteed onions in there with all the nice butter. See that going in? Make a nice sizzling sound. Of course, back in the day they didn't have Teflon, but hey, we're in a nice modern kitchen. I'll start mixing this up a little bit. Alright, I'm at the uh, counter. I got three cups of uh, chicken broth into a measuring. Cup. I'm going to pour this now into the stuffing mix and then I'm going to stir this up nice. Get this all stirred up. Then I'm going to add my egg and get the egg stirred into it. So there goes the egg. The same thing, I'm going to continue stirring this. People on the train like a lot of sage in their stuffing, so I'm going to put in uh, a tablespoon of stuffing. Let's kind of sprinkle it in here. 
sage, I mean. And that's the sage going in. And of course, this is just the regular old sage. And I'll mix this up again, and I'll bring it back when it's all done. And of course, I'll be adding some pepper. And uh, all right, we've got it pretty well, the mixture and consistency that I want. Just a little bit of softness to it. And this is gonna go over to the duck and be placed in the duck. All right, we're back over at the duck. We're gonna take this stuffing now and then get it into the duck. I'll start this process. When I get it all done, I'll bring you back. But you can see we're just gonna work it in there. We get the duck full. All right, I'm gonna. Last step is to give it some ground pepper. And Nick, we are now ready to place this duck into the oven. All right, I'm gonna get the oven ready to go. I'm gonna hit the hit the bake. And 375, three seven five and then start the oven is now starting up when that gets to 375 we'll put the duck in the oven all right let's put the uh, duck in the oven it's been preheated 375 put the duck in there Yeah, they can ready to go. Let's close her up. Man, that's looking good. Look at that. Let's see if we get a little bit of degreasing here. But I think we're looking pretty good though. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. All this, most of this grease is below the rack, so just a couple of shots of getting some of us out of here. And it will be in good shape. Duck's been in the oven now for about uh, two hours, I believe, or thereabouts. Next thing, we'll put it back a little while longer, then we'll check the temperature of the duck itself, make sure it's at 180 degrees Fahrenheit with the meat thermometer. Bring it over to the stove top. Boy, that looks good. Put it on here, and we have roast duck, railroad style. Okay, and it's at 183 degrees, so we're three above the required amount. So this duck is ready to be served. We got this all plated up for the diner car. We have snap peas, oranges, our duck, and of course our stuffing. Let's take it out to the diner car. All right, we're all done. We're gonna take it out to the diner car. Look at what we got, doesn't that look good? Roast duck, ready to go. Man, that is one good looking duck. Quack, quack. Hi, I'm Crane Room Gary. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember to ring the bell to get all the email notifications. Please hit me up with a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway. Check out these fine videos from my YouTube channel.